Hello, I am Jack with Jack in the Net. Welcome to another Elementor Pro video. In this one, we are going to be having a look at the Lottie element. Now, this one adds quite a lot of interest to your page, but I don't think that many people are using it yet. Adds in cool looking animations like this. You can do it as a media file or an external URL. I'm going to be showing you how to use both and how we can actually style this up and change the colors so that you can uh, make it match your own design. So grab a drink, grab a snack, anything else that makes you feel warm and fuzzy, and we will dive on in. So there are two ways that we can use this. We can either have a media file, which is ultimately what we're going to be doing, or you can use an external URL to pull this information from somewhere else on the web. Now you can get these in different places, but the best one is from Lottie Files, lottiefiles.com. You can do cool things like getting this animated banana going along here. Don't know how you would use that on an actual website, what the context would be, but hey, I like it, it's trending. So what you want to do is search up here for the type of animation that you want. I'm going to search for delivery. We'll go with food delivery. As you can see, there are lots of different options that we've got here. Uh, some of them will be uh, premium, so you can select the little free option under type, and that means that only the free ones are going to be shown. So let's just go with this one here for the moment. And what you can do is you can actually change the animation speed here. Uh, so if we click down here, it goes faster. You can see these little lines are appearing more quickly. And just keep clicking, and you can cycle around uh, to get it to where you want. You can also change the background color, you can make it green, blue, there's a few options here. Or of course, you can put in your hex code uh, and change it as you like it. And there's something else that we can do before we actually download it. Um, but uh, just so that you know, this little code that we've got here, if you want to copy and paste that, that is what we can put up here in the external URL section. And that's just going to automatically pull it through. So let's do it. Copied, head back over, click, put it in there. And there we go, it's appeared on our page. Uh, when we've done that, what we could do is come over to style, we can change the width, that's gonna bring it down, and obviously you can size it from there. Uh, or if you wanted to, we could naturally create different columns, such as a three column layout, and then you could pull it into one of those columns and you know change it around, we could stick backgrounds behind it. Obviously make it integrate fully with the rest of your web page, and generally you look cool. But we're not gonna do any of that for the moment because I wanna show you how to do this as an external uh, media file. So let's put it back in here, head back over to Lottie Files, and now let's look at actually changing the design. So if you come down here, you'll see that you've got a button that says Edit Layer Colors. If we click this, it takes us straight through to the Lottie editor. Now don't worry, this probably looks a little bit uh, complicated, but actually it's really quite nice and simple. So these are the different layers that our image is made up of. You've also got the duration over here, and you can edit all of it. So just for example, if I head over to the pizza outlines, you've got all of our different colors here. Now, look at this. It's all red at the moment. This guy clearly works for a pizza company that loves the color red, but uh, he or she, uh, could be either, uh, doesn't like red, They're gonna be a rebel. So if we click on our red color up here, let's change it to a blue, maybe around here. Click on update. Look at that, they've got a blue moped, motorcycle, whatever this thing is. Uh, so that's what you can do. We could also go to the box outlines. We don't want this dark blue box, we want uh, a nice pink box. And it's gonna have a different colored lid to it. Let's go with sort of a turquoisey, greeny, blue. I don't really know what color that is, but we'll go with it. So it's that simple. And you can do that with all the different layers. And when you're done, you've played around and you've made it match up with your design, then uh, you can obviously come over here and you can export this as a Lottie file. So if I click on this button, click on allow, it'll download it for us. Uh, and then what we can do is head on back over to here. And now what we can do is as long as we've got the media file, we can actually upload one. So if you've never done this before, when you click on this little upload button, it will probably come up with a pop-up saying, do you wish to enable this type of file? Because they can be unsecure on WordPress. That is why I'm suggesting that you only get them from the likes of Lottie Files, you know, official places. That way you can be fairly comfortable that they're not going to contain any malicious content. But just do be wary of that. Uh, click on the little enable button and then you want to come on over to upload files and then what I can do is click and drag my file on into the page. There it is. 
insert media, and there we go. Our, our newly changed color design has just appeared. Uh, and once again, what we can do is come on over here, change the width, bring it down a little bit. Under content, if we wanted to uh, link this somewhere, we can do that. You can add in a custom URL link. And then if somebody actually clicks on this, it's going to uh, take them to that URL destination. You also got different settings, so we can choose to loop the animation. So if I turn this on, it's just gonna keep playing over and over again. Once more, we can change the play speed. See that that's going quite a bit faster. So let's just drop that back down to one. Uh, and you can also change things like the start point and end point of animations. Uh, so let's grab another one so that you can have a look at this a little bit more clearly. So I've just grabbed a different URL. So let's come up here. I'll change this to URL to make it nice and quick. And we'll put this one in. So now we've got this one. Under settings, if you see down here, start point and end point, if I change this, it's gonna change what the animation is actually doing. So if I set this to 30, and then bring this one down to say, I don't know, 50, about there. You see that our animation is now stuck purely between those two points. Now, if I release it again, bring this back down to zero, and this one up to 100, we then got those different changes in the animation. Okay, so, you know, slow pedaling, fast pedaling, that's what this does here. Uh, again, I've got it on loop, which is why it's just playing over and over. And what I really suggest that you do is switch on the lazy load, because that way, this is only gonna start uh, you know, playing, loading, when it comes into the screen view, okay, onto your viewport. Um, and that's gonna make your website load quicker, effectively. What you can do is change that. So instead of having the viewport as the trigger, you could have the trigger as on click. And then nothing's gonna happen until somebody actually comes over and clicks on it like that. And then it's gonna start playing. Or we could do it on hover. So again, it's not doing anything until somebody comes over, hovers on the page, and then it's gonna start playing. So you've got quite a few different options that you can play around with there. Uh, completely up to you, of course, what you choose. I'm just gonna leave it on viewport uh, for the moment. And uh, then the other thing is you can reverse it as well. If you reverse it, it effectively plays it backwards. So now you can see that the wheels are spinning backwards and indeed he is cycling backwards, which looks a little bit weird in this instance, but hey, you can do it. It's really cool that Elementor gives you all of these options here. And once again, you can come into style, you can change the width of this, make it bigger or smaller. And you can also play around with CSS filters as well, which means that, for example, when we have it on normal mode, it looks like this. But if we switch over to hover, we could, change the opacity maybe to around here. And then you get this sort of effect. So one minute it's solid, then it's slightly faded. You've also got CSS filters as well, so you can change things like the saturation or the hue, but I'm just gonna leave it as it was, okay? We don't wanna mess around with that. Uh, one thing that I do wanna do though is add a little bit of final movement. Um, now, what you can do is come over under the advanced tab and instead of just having uh, him stay in the same place while he is cycling, we can have him move across the page. Um, so if we come on down to motion effects, turn on scrolling effects. Uh, in this case, I want him to go from left to right. So that is horizontal rather than up and down, which is vertical. So I'm gonna turn on uh, horizontal. Uh, direction, uh, well, it's heading to the right, so I'll leave it on right, but you can obviously change that if you want to. Uh, changing the speed, if we make it really quick, then it will effectively zip across the page very, very fast. So let's just leave that around five in the middle. Uh, the viewport, uh, if we change these settings, it effectively means that um, it won't start to move until uh, it's coming to view on the page by a certain amount. I'm gonna leave it uh, at the sort of far left and far right because what I want to happen is that this is gonna start moving the moment that it comes into view and is going to finish uh, across the other side of the page the move at the moment that we come down out of view. Um, I've probably not explained that very well. Uh, let's just show you what it looks like and then hopefully you'll understand what I mean there. So I'm gonna update, preview the changes, and let's take a look at this. Um, so we'll just have to scroll on down past the other Elementor Pro elements that we've been having a look at throughout the uh, tutorial series. So we'll come on down past those. Almost there. Here we are, right. So as it comes into view, it's starting over on the left. Okay, so the further that we scroll down, 
it comes over to the right. So that's the sort of movement that you can add in on your page. And obviously it just makes it that much more entertaining. You've got some movement in there already, thanks to the lottery image. But due to those advanced settings with Elementor, you can actually move stuff around the page as well. So I think that's really cool. And uh, hopefully, now that you've seen the Lottie editor, you know that you've got lots of different options there. So pretty much no matter what you're looking for, there is an option. You can change the colors of things as well, as I showed you. Uh, it's all possible. So have some fun with that one. I think that's what this one's all about. Good fun. And uh, I really just want to thank you for watching the uh, this video and obviously any of the others that you've seen in this Elementor Pro series. Any questions, any other way that I can help, post in the comments. And uh, yeah, I will do. And I look forward to seeing what you can achieve using all these different widgets.